Hey gorgeous souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me for another one of my videos today. So today's video is a beautiful spiritual meditation and I get asked so much and have these meditations on all of my meditation playlists of how do we cut energetic cords? What are energetic cords? Why should we cut them? And how do we do that? So today's meditation is literally all upon that, of cutting the energetic cords to people's places, situations, fears, or anything that's not serving you. So this is not just a meditation for cutting cords between people. This is a meditation for cutting cords between anything that's stressing you out, any past situations that you're ready to let go of, anything that's stopping you from living and manifesting your best life. So I really hope you're going to enjoy this meditation. But if you're new here to my channel, then welcome. My name is Emma. I'm an award-winning life coach, two times best-selling author, Law of Attraction YouTuber here on my channel. And I'm the host of Spiritual Queen's Badass Podcast, which is the number one spirituality podcast on iTunes. And here on my channel, I cover all things Law of Attraction, manifestation, spirituality, and self-help. So not only do I really hope you're going to enjoy this video, but the abundance of videos here on my channel over the last eight years. So why is it important that we cut the cords to things? If you're completely new to this and you're like, what video have I stumbled upon here on Emma's channel? Then cutting the energetic cords is so, so important for many, many purposes and reasons. So throughout our life, we connect energetic cords to people, places, situations, anything basically, wherever we're putting energy towards. And very often energetic cords relate to people rather than, you know, situations, fears, etc. But those do exist as well. So most commonly you'll hear about people when we have interactions, you create energetic cords between you and that person so that energy flows between you and that person. So this shows up when, for instance, like you and your friend are like thinking about each other and then you message and they're like, oh my God, I was just thinking about you. That is that energetic flow. It can also, on the flip side, you can feel it when maybe the relationship's a bit negative or something's happened and you're feeling that negativity from that person. This is why it's so important to cut energetic cords. Now, cutting energetic cords can seem quite harsh. It can seem like you're cutting someone off and you're being like, right, bye. Um, yes, that is what it is, but it's not like you're killing them off. It's not like those cords can't be reattached. Cords and new cords are formed all of the time. And you can, even if you want to, you go on to reform and rebuild a cord if that feels right to you. So this is not like a once you've cut the cord, that's it, gone forever situation, definitely not. You can absolutely rebuild healthy connections, healthy new cords that promote positivity, love, compassion, whatever you want to do. So yes, that's the person side of things. Um, and again, like if you've got an ex that you can't stop, you can't just let go of, perfect cord cutting meditation to do. If you are leaving an old job with maybe like a toxic boss or something, cut those cords. If you are maybe struggling to let go of a situation from the past, cut the cords. If you are feeling fearful over something, cut the cords to that past memory, cut the cords to that past fear that's playing out now in your situation, for example. So cutting the cords is just a really great practice to do. This is a gentle little meditation practice to guide you into that process and work with Archangel Michael, who is the Archangel of protection and cutting the cords. He is the king of it. So this meditation is gonna help you to learn what the process is and see those results for yourself. I always feel so much energetically lighter when I cut the cords, whether it's been to the past, whether it's been to like a situation that's happening and I just need to let it go, I always cut the cord so then I'm not emotionally attached to what's happening. Um, you know, if I'm waiting for a result or something, I cut the cords and then I can just let go and allow my energy to be my own. And that's the most important part of cutting cords. It's allowing your energy to be your own without that interference, without that other, you know, maybe conflicting energy coming into your energy field. So trust the process, trust this meditation and trust what comes up for you. It will become very clear very quickly whether that cord is a positive one or a negative one. And you can obviously decide what feels right for you in terms of cutting it, in terms of healing it, whatever feels right for you. This meditation in particular is actually just a cord cutting meditation. You can obviously go on and develop your 
cord repairing and cord healing practice with meditations that I've got in my meditation playlist over on my website shop that I will link below for you. But anyway, without further ado, let's get into this meditation. I really hope you're going to enjoy it. I hope you're gonna get lots from it. And let me know how you feel afterwards once you've cut the cords. Did you feel a shift? Did you feel that suddenly a weight was lifted? Please let me know, I'd love to hear. So make sure you are comfortable and I really hope you're going to enjoy this. Welcome to my cord cutting meditation for YouTube. This beautiful guided meditation is designed to help you cut the cords to any people, situations, fears or things holding you back. All you need to do is follow along with my guidance and trust whatever you're able to see or feel throughout this meditation. As you develop your meditation practice, visuals and everything else like that will become more clearer. I first of all just want you to make sure that you're comfortable in the seat that you're in and that you won't be disturbed throughout the duration of this meditation. And when you're ready, you can close your eyes and start to take deep breaths in. And on the exhale, just releasing any stress or any tension from your day so far. We're going to do this in equal measure, so breathing in for five seconds holding for five seconds and releasing for five seconds. If at any point this feels unmanageable, then please reduce it to an amount of time that feels right to you. You should now start to feel relaxed and I want you through your mind's eye with your eyes closed still to see yourself walking through a beautiful forest and feeling the earth beneath your feet and the woodland animals in the background and the noises around you as it's a beautiful sunny clear day and hearing the wind moving through the trees and hearing the leaves and you feel a gentle, warm sunshine shining down on you. And as you walk further into this forest now, you see a beautiful clearing in front of you with a fire pit in the middle. And you walk towards this fire pit now where there are seats surrounding it. And you take a seat in front of this fire pit. And now Archangel Michael and Archangel Metatron are going to join you within this circle. Archangel Michael is the Archangel of Protection and he is here to help you cut the cords and protect your energy. And Archangel Metatron is the Archangel of Clearing and Transmuting. They are here to help with resetting the energy and clearing any negative energy no longer serving you. And I also want you to invite your angels and spirit guide team into this circle as well to surround you. So please welcome them and say hi in a way that feels right to you. And I now want you to call forward the person, situation, fear, or even the past that you want to cut the cords to. Call them in now into this space and see this person or a symbol of representation appear in front of you. And as you see this person or symbol in front of you, know that it is just an energetic representation and that you are held, supported and divinely protected within this space. If it's a person, this is their highest, most brightest self showing up in front of you now. And just notice where on your body you see a cord appear between you and this person or symbol. Allow it to form naturally and notice where on your bodies it is. And look at what texture it is. Is it like a rope texture? Is it like a cord? 
Notice the texture of this cord now. And also what color is it? Is it light in color or is it dark in color? Does it feel stagnant and heavy? And Archangel Michael is now going to walk up to you both and ask if you're ready to let go and allow him to cut the cord of attachment between you and this person. Give him your permission now. And Archangel Michael now pulls out his sword and raises his silver sword up in the sky and now slices through the cord between you both, cutting it completely in half. And this cord now falls away to the ground and leaves both of your bodies. And Archangel Michael is now going to place this cord in the violet flame fire in front of you. And this violet flame fire is clearing, dissolving and transmuting the energy of this cord. And now that the cord has been cut, I just want you to notice how you feel. Does it feel lighter? Do you feel lighter in that area where the cord was? How do you feel now towards the person or symbol in front of you? And Archangel Metatron now joins you and surrounds you and this person or the symbol with a beautiful orange golden energy. This energy is surrounding you both now. And this energy is clearing, resetting and transmuting anything that no longer serves you. Any negative energy, any low vibrational energy, any sabotage energy, anything that is not for your highest good and for this person's highest good is being cleared now for the highest good of all. And now Archangel Metatron takes this orange golden light surrounding you both and puts this light into the violet flame fire as well to clear and transmute this fully. And I want you to take a big deep cleansing breath in and on the exhale releasing now anything else that needs to be energetically released. You may find that you're yawning. You may find that you feel like energy is leaving your body. Just allowing that to be cleared and transmuted up to the divine now and away from you for good. And I want you now as you sit around the campfire still to repeat these affirmations out loud after me. If you want to repeat them in your waking life, then please feel free to do so. But for now, all you need to do is repeat them after me. I am free from my past. I release now any limitations placed on me. I reclaim my power and call back all the lost pieces of myself. I'm sorry, please forgive me. Thank you, I love you. And I want you to take a final deep cleansing breath in. And on the exhale, embodying now the beautiful energy from these affirmations and this practice. And I want you to repeat the mantra to the person or symbol in front of you just one more time. I'm sorry, please forgive me. Thank you, I love you. and see how that feels as you say it. And Archangel Michael and Archangel Metatron now bid you farewell and you thank them for their help today. And they get up as well as taking the symbol or the person gets up and walks off with them now into the light until they dissolve entirely. 
and your angels and spirit guide team now also get up and bid you farewell and give you a great big hug. And they now also bid you farewell and dissolve into the light together. And as you feel yourself coming back into the room, coming back into the space, I just want you to feel yourself grounding in, moving your hands and feet. Feeling lighter, feeling brighter, feeling energetically clear and ready to move forwards for the highest good of all. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. I really hope you've enjoyed this meditation and of course you can come back to it at any time you feel called to. So I hope you enjoyed that meditation and I hope it was deeply nourishing and hopefully you're feeling lighter, brighter, and no matter what you cut the cord to, hopefully you're feeling more clarity with that now and coming from your energy so you're able to make better aligned decisions and see what unfolds for you. As I said, you can always repair and create new cords with people, with whatever. So um, again, you can go on and do that practice if you want to or come back and do this meditation at any time you feel called to. Thank you so much gorgeous souls for watching i appreciate all your views and likes don't forget to subscribe if you're new here because i would love love to see you again soon don't forget to leave me a comment in the comments box because i reply to them all and don't forget you can join my free law of attraction support group over on facebook where you can join myself and other like-minded souls where we talk all things law of attraction and spirituality i hope you have a fantastic week whatever you're up to and i'll see you all in my next video which will be on tuesday lots of love